Okay, today I'm uh, installing my Pensacola diesel um, low fuel pressure sending unit, which goes right into your uh, fuel pressure inlet on the VP44 pump, which is, let me put my little light on, which is right down there where I've got the fuel pressure gauge hooked up to. I take out the Schrader valve, and it comes with this little LED light, which actually mine came broken. There's a little resistor on the LED, I just resolded it back on. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm try to walk nice and slow. I'm about to finish up my install of my uh, SunPro boost gauge and transmission temperature gauge, which I haven't finished yet. And I'm just going to drill a little hole and stick that right there in case I have a little fuel pressure. That little red light will come on at 5 pounds and tell me to uh, stop before I take out my pump. This has just had a new pump put on, so I don't want to do that. And that's what it looks like. I bought it basically because it had the fittings. I think it's not a whole lot more than a uh, oil pressure switch. Most of those come on at five pounds. You hit five pounds and they show it out and they let it, the bulb is probably all it is. Anyway, it was a nice little kit and it was only like uh, 40 bucks for the cheapest one on eBay. They're all the same. All right. Okay, if you got a uh, late 99 to like 2002 Dodge with a VP44 pump, you want to take out that bolt that's got the Schrader valve on the end of it and you replace it with the uh, banjo fitting that's in the kit for the sending unit. Okay? So all you need to do, hopefully, all you need to do, try this out first. I'll be You're going to need a uh, 11 sixteenths or an 18 millimeter wrench. You don't want to work. This is why I suggest anybody buying tools get a metric kit. That's it. You should come right out. Get the hand in here. Well, it's going to be a little more difficult than that. Anyway, you get the idea. I'll be right back when I put the new one in. Okay, that's the banjo bolt with the Schrader valve. That's a stock one. You're taking that one out. I've already sealed that one up. That's the one that comes in the kit with the new washers. You'll be putting that one on. And you're going to save that, of course, so you can test your pump sometime. Should you choose. I'll be back when I put the new one. Okay, there's a new uh, fitting installed with the pressure sender. I'm just going to fire it up now and check if it leaks, and then go on to the wiring. Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, no leaks. I'm not going to run the wiring up uh, into the cockpit and uh, drill a hole in the A-pillar and start hooking up the wiring for the temperature gauge, the boost gauge lights, and the uh, warning light. Okay, there's the, the little red LED low fuel pressure installed in the A-pillar gauge. I'll be back. Okay, I've got my gauge cluster in. Uh, the low fuel light, illumination lights are working. I turn on the key. That little red LED should come on for just a second if it's bled down enough. Yep, the pump went. Came right on and off the light went. That's working fine. All right, that's it. Success.